funny and the first thing you should know is I have fantastic hair today. Today is First Impression Friday and we're gonna be testing a skincare device. This is something new that I discovered on Instagram. It came up in like my suggested explorer page, whatever we call that these days. And this is by a skincare company that I had never heard of before. It's called Banish Acne. The device that I saw that I really wanted to try is called the Pore Smasher. It kind of makes me think of the Hulk just a little bit. It is this thing. It has a metal um, wheel, yeah, cylinder. What this thing is supposed to do is mimic an ice facial. You guys know I'm pretty obsessed with skincare, so whenever I see a new tool or a new item or a new thing, I always want to try it. And honestly, I need all the help I can get right now because my skin is in pretty bad shape. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's like I've got a pimple that's wanting to come up up here by the lip. That's the greatest place to get a zit. And then I've got one here, like an oil pockety thing here, a giant painful pimple on my forehead. One here, one here, one here. I have like giant cavernous pores on my nose. I don't know, I don't know why. Why have I been blessed with this gift? I think my face is just like, I'm done. I have never tried an ice facial and I'm not even a hundred sure that I know what that is. It is supposed to make pores appear smaller, reduce puffiness from eye area and face, revitalize skin appearance, cool and tighten skin. You're just supposed to pop this in your freezer for at least 30 minutes. I'm pretty sure mine is going to be ridiculously icy cold because I have had it in my freezer for two days. I'm nervous to try it. I'm excited to try it. I don't know if it's gonna be like, <gasps> like shocking, you know, to like put a super cold icy metal thing on your face. They say that you can massage it all over your face for two to five minutes. It can be used over the eye area. You can clean it with soap and water. And it says store in freezer and that you can do this daily. Without further ado do, I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling this all over my face. I'm trying to get it in its Optimus Prime of when it is the most cold. Let's get sassy and let's get started. Look, it almost looks like it's covered in a thin layer of ice. I feel like this is gonna be so shockingly cold. So I'm like trying to mentally prepare myself. Poor smasher. Smash that like button. Um, oh, oh, ooh. Do you guys, ooh, hear the friendly squeak? Ooh, this is actually, I mean, except for that like, Screaming banshee noise. It's like I'm scrubbing my face clean, right? Oh my gosh, I'm so silly. I forgot to set the timer. It feels really soothing. Trying to smash my nose pores. Need some WD-40. What is my hand doing? I'm like, yes, yes. Oh. We're all done. I just did this for five minutes straight and I'm not sure if it's the power of suggestion or because it feels so good on the skin that I'm like, oh yeah, my skin, I really feel like it looks a lot better. Like I was saying, it does feel incredibly soothing. I feel like it actually calmed me down a little bit, which I welcome anything that calms me down because lately I've been like a nine on the Richter scale. The only thing that I wish, and I don't know if it just so happens to be the one that I got, do they all make this like really loud? Maybe the screaming has kind of gone down just a little bit. Yeah, it kind of has. I don't know if you just kind of have to like break it in. I mean, it's still squeaking, but it's definitely not like the screaming that I just listened to for five minutes. And I'm actually not sure if maybe it's making that noise because it was so cold. So as the temperature gets warmer, maybe the squeaking is less prominent. I will only know that um, after I put this in the freezer again and use it over again. So I will just say now that it's not touching my face anymore, 
it's starting to feel a little cooler, but the longer that it consistently rubs against your skin, I don't know if I just have a hot head, but it definitely started to feel less cool. That just makes sense. The longer it's out of the freezer, you know, the warmer it's gonna get, but it definitely did feel nice and icy cool pretty much throughout the entire five minutes. And like I said, I'm not sure if this is like my face grease or if in fact, since I'm not like touching the metal anymore, it's starting to look a little bit more frosty. I don't know what's up with that. Now it says that we can spray on the vitamin C beauty elixir. I have some of that as well. And it says to spray this on for a longer lasting effect. Let's just see what this smells like. Ooh, really nice. Oh my gosh though. It sort of smells like it has tea tree, which I cannot use. I am so, oh no, it does. Unfortunately, you guys, I can't use this. I think some people were confused because in one of my last, I can't remember if it was Birchbox or Sephora Play, I said I was excited to use a product that had green tea. I'm not allergic to green tea. I am allergic to tea tree. I love the way it smells, but unfortunately it just bothers my skin a lot. It makes me get really red. That's pretty much the two routes of acne skincare that I found is either it's got salicylic acid in it, which is what I usually use to help with my acne, or it's got tea tree oil in it. I really like this thing. This is a skincare tool that I feel like I would want to reach for. It's fun, it's just different. Like the moment I saw this on Instagram, I knew that I really wanted to try it. And I'm just so happy that it feels like soothing and not like jarring. I feel like though this, as I always say with any skincare tool, like a facial steamer or, you know, a face wash or a face cream, whatever, you have to use it pretty much for 30 days until you're going to see any noticeable effects. Although this does say that you will have an instant effect. I feel like you do get a little bit of an instant effect. I'm trying to not touch my face right now. My camera is like trying to focus. It says there's a face back here. There are faces in this wallpaper, but that's a little creepy, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, I'm home alone right now. It's kind of freaking me out. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.